and welcome yet again to another video of Squirrel Sphere. Um, before I carry on today, got a new webcam. Um, so if you're noticing any differences, it's because of that. Anyway, um, diving straight in. Welcome back to Squirrel Sphere. And today's video is a hard one. Um, Supernatural, season fifteen, episode eighteen. Despair. Um, big spoilers ahead before I carry on, but what an episode. Um, let's start off with. Wow, well, this is a hard. Uh, this is a hard video to talk about. It really is. Um, sorry. Getting starting to talk, starting to think about it, even gets me going. Um, so, episode picks off straight after we left off with Jack. Um, Jack blows up the MT. You know, I am going to rush through some of this, you know, just to get to what I'm going to talk about because I don't want to talk about it, but I have to. Um, but yeah, um, Jack blows up the MT. Billy is initially taken out, um, at first by what Steen does and then by what Cass does. Um, you know, the episode revolves around. Um, people disappearing from alternate universes, then it, it's death. Well, I believe it's death, anyway. Um, and as we see, these people disappear. Um, you know, Dean and Cass go off on their own, and um, Sam and Jack go off on their own. And Sam and Jack um, are looking for a way to contain the problem, while Dean and Cass are off trying to deal with the problem effectively and finish the end the problem. Um, which doesn't go to plan, of course. Um, as I say, we lose a lot of people in this episode, alternate universe people and otherwise. Um, Charlie goes. Bobby goes. Um, we see a lot of people go. And we hear a lot of people go. Greg goes. Um, <laughs> Hunter. And um, Stevie, Charlie's girlfriend. Charlie goes, though. It's Dead upsetting. But when you realise it's not actually death, that it's God who's doing this, Donna goes as well. Donna. Donna got me. That's where it set me off. Um, seeing her go that, like that, and it was literally, it gave me like Spider-Man vibes with Tony Stark. It's like, she turns around and she's like, Sam, Sam, and she can And I'm like, you know, it, 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 was a, it was already a hard episode at that point. Um, yeah, okay, we've lost these characters before, Charlie and Bobby, but <clears throat> to lose them again, and the way we lose them, just feels really heartfelt. Um, you know, and it, it's a really well written episode. Um, and it's actually like at this point, and this late in the stage of the series, um, to have an episode that I think is one of the best of the whole series. Um, just three episodes prior to the series finale. Um, we've only got two episodes left. And it really worries me where it goes. Um, so let's talk about why this is such an odd episode. Um, when we go to Dean and Cass, um, they approach Death. Um, Death's already on the way out um, because of what Dean did at the start of the episode. Um, and... So, Death wants Dean dead. Cass is carrying Dean through the bunker. Once they get out of the um, the room, that Death's room with the books, and um, they start they start to get away from Death, and eventually they end up in the room where um, like they've kept Crowley before, they've kept Rowena, they've kept Demon, you know. So that you know they're stuck. There's no way out. Um, cast as a spell, like um, it must be an Anarchian symbol that keeps death at the door. It keeps death at the door. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you know. Um, yeah, we get a cheesy line from Death, but it's a very good line. The sweet release of Death, and it's like it's so good. I enjoy these cheesy lines that they do sometimes. Um, but yeah. 
at this point, we're stu- they're stuck in the room, and Dean is blaming himself for being stuck in the room. He's like, as he does. Um, and then Cass, all of a sudden, it's like Cass gets a light bulb moment, um, and he realizes a way of actually getting them out of this, and that is um, by fulfilling the deal that he made with the empty um, moment of true happiness, which reminds me of Angel, which I find quite weird. Like I don't know if they did that on purpose. A show called Angel. And it, and it, you know, it's an angel. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a daft little thing. Um, especially with the lack of soul thing going on in there as well. There's a lot of things that relate to other shows and stuff. But, um, yeah, Cass realises that making um, this deal has actually saved Dean in the end. Um, there's a big speech from Cass um, basically saying that he loves Dean. Um, and it's it's really like while it is a brilliant scene and it is really well done. Mitch Collins in this episode absolutely kills it, and um, all due credit to him for pulling it off. You know, uh, I think fan fanboys who want the Destiny L thing to happen are definitely going to get their day. Um, <laughs> you know, but in that moment while you're watching it. I mean, I and you know what? I think the writers did it perfectly. Um, the way the episode ends with Dean and the phones on the floor, and he's just hands in his face, crying his eyes out. Um, well, I wouldn't say he's crying his eyes out, but he's definitely sniffling. He's definitely crying um, to a certain extent, and um, that's how we felt when it happened. The episode ended, um, and the way I watch it, when the episode ends, it freezes on the last. It, it freezes on the last moment that you see. Um, for me, when I watch it, and um, and I was literally just there looking at the Warner Brothers logo. My hands were in my like this, and I just thought I sound like Michael Myers with his mask on. I was literally like. So upset, and I've seen the videos online of people reacting to this video, um, to, to this episode. And there are people actually, there were people that actually, like, I didn't completely break down, but I was at the point where I couldn't breathe a little bit. And my unstoppable, unstoppable tears, and I, you know, when I went to sleep, I had a banging headache. It was that kind of tears for me. But there were people that were actually, like, proper bawling their eyes out, like, in need of tissue. And even watching that made me cry. Like I've I watch a lot of YouTube, and I watch a lot of um, videos of people, and not to influence my videos, but to um, see what other people think. That's the idea in my channel, in my videos. I want people to see like what my opinions are on things, and that's why I watch them. And watching them cry and bawl their eyes out of a cast made me cry. And I stopped watching. There was one video, and and she was on the sofa with her mother. And um, I apologise for not remembering the channel, because um, I'm I'm a big fan of her channel. But sorry, I can't remember you. Um, it's not because I don't remember you. It's because I can't remember your name. Um, and she's there bawling her eyes out. She's got a plush Castiel. And she's there bawling her eyes out. And I was literally just sitting there like, why am I watching this? Just giving me PTSD, you know, PTSD. Um, I just, I just, it is, the episode title is very much how every Supernatural fan is feeling right now. The absolute despair. We don't want to believe it, but Cass is gone. Cass has said his last goodbye and took death with him with um, darkness, you know. This, I apologise, this is getting very sombre, <laughs> but I'm actually, like, I'm still reading from it, you know. I, I mean, I only watched it half hour ago and still getting used to it, you know. So, yeah, 
Um, rest in peace, Cass. Or oh, rest in sleep, I guess. Um, in the empty. Um, to do it two episodes before the end as well really scares me for the rest of the series. Um, if you're willing to get rid of a character like Castiel this soon, where are you going with it? boys, you know, where are you going with it? Um, this show is really, it, 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 it's in my heart forever. Um, and this episode basically proves it. Um, I am, I'm, I'm extremely scared for the next two episodes. Um, it, it really does worry me and not in a bad way, but in a sense of, you know, if they're going to do this three episodes prior to the season finale, what have they got planned for the season finale? You know, um, I'm gonna be crying. I, I could tell you now, there is not a chance that there will not be a man tear in my eye for that last episode, no matter what happens. You know, um, thinking the first time I watch it, maybe not, because I'm concentrating too much on what's happening, and um, maybe a little bit upset. You know, whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see where they go now. Um, but they got rid of Castiel. So, um, that's it for today's video. Um, obviously, this did change my plan, because last uh, the last Supernatural video you got, I did two episodes in one review, and that was my plan. That was my plan for this one. You wouldn't have got a video today. You would have got a video next week with two episodes. But for it to be an episode where Cass goes, and it's his last episode, and he says goodbye to Dean, and he says he loves Dean. There was now a chance in hell that I was going to not do a video on this. He, Castiel deserves his own um, video. Um, I'm going to miss Cass. Even though it's only two episodes, I'm still going to miss you. Um, Mish Collins, thank you so much for what you've done with this show. You know, um, To think that you started in season four and you were only planning to do one or two episodes and that was it. People loved you and you stayed on and you stayed on for the remainder of what 10 years 11 years so you know thank you so much for what you brought to supernatural um i know you're not going to be watching it but this is just something i would say thank you so much um and this last episode really has um implemented it so you know yeah um i'm not crying you are um anyway that's it for today's video um there is a horror video coming up soon, um, maybe the same day as this one, um, I'm not sure yet, I'm um, just going to see how things go, but um, I've been Scribble, this has been Scribble Sphere, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, let's hope we don't get another episode of that, thank you, and goodbye.